Hey, how are you doing today? This time we'll learn more about creating 3D objects in Photoshop. Create a new document with a resolution of 2000 by 2000 and a transparent background. It is always a good habit to create an additional layer to work with. Add red color to the layer we've just created and choose the Type tool. Set the text color to white, type Coca-Cola and choose an appropriate size for our text. With our text selected, go to Edit Transform Rotate by 90 degrees counterclockwise. Create a new layer and choose the Rectangular Selection tool. Now we are going to select a narrow strip and fill it in with white color. Go to Select and deselect the area. Now modify the layer by choosing Filter Distort Wave. In the new window, you can adjust the settings the way you like it and click OK to apply the filter. Now let's select the last three layers by holding the Shift key and then merge them. Now that we have this one layer, we can go to 3D New Shape from Layer and create a soda can. As you can see, our can is too dark and does not look very appealing at this point. That is when the 3D toolbar will be helpful. Go to Window and choose 3D. Here we can change such settings as glossiness and shininess both for the cap and the label, which are the two components of our 3D object in this case. Adjust the glossiness and the shininess the way you like them and then click on the light bulb to go to the lighting settings. Here you can modify three lights in the scene, increase the intensity and even change their position. However, my advice is first select the 3D Rotate tool and rotate the object to see the reflections at a different angle. Adjust the intensity of all three lights the way you like it. If you want, you can even change the light color. Now select Rotate the Light tool. Now again, rotate every light the way you like it and then select 3D Rotate tool to position the object properly. Select 3D Scale tool and scale the can down to make it smaller. Pan the object a little to the side with the 3D Pen tool. At this time, we are going to create another can simply by duplicating the one we have. Place the second can wherever you like. Now all we need to do is to select the background layer, fill it in with any color and see the result. Thank you for your time and don't forget to look for more tutorials at Tokidoki.com.